it's Seeking Jade here and this is just a little DIY video that I've done. It's going to be turning a basic white t-shirt like this into a mermaid shell inspired top. I hope you enjoy the video and you stay tuned. So for this DIY you need a basic t-shirt. The colour doesn't matter, I just went for white because I thought that would be best for me. So I've lined up this vest top to help me sort of mark out where I need to alter the top to make it into like a little vest crop. I'm going to be using dressmaker's chalk to mark this out. You don't have to go out and buy this but I have it because I used to do a lot of textiles. So I'm just going to mark roughly where I need to be cutting. Avoiding the vest top of course. I don't know if you can actually see that but there's a little line going along. I'm going to be using a pair of dressmaker scissors just to cut out on the line that I've drawn. Again you don't have to go out and buy dressmaker scissors you can just use normal scissors it's just I happen to have this on me to be able to use it. To make this sort of clamshell stencil, you could print an image off Google, but I'm deciding just to do it freehand because that's what I like to do. So I'm just going to now use a sharpie just to go over my lines so I roughly know where I'm not going to cut out and where I am going to cut out. I'm going to use this craft knife now just to cut out the yellow parts which I don't need. If you are a child or anyone younger, do have adult supervision while using sharp objects. At the moment I'm just trying to find out the sort of placement of where I'm going to put the clamshells. I'm not sure if I'm going to have them out this way or up like this. Um, so I'm going to mix some blue fabric paint, some red and some white until I get sort of a nice purpley colour that I'm after. So here is the final result. I did this shell off camera as I wanted to make sure it was all perfect and everything. I am really happy with how it's turned out for my first attempt. And now I'm going to let it dry for 48 hours and then 
once the 48 hours are over, I'm gonna see if it needs any touch-ups or anything. So here's the final reveal. I don't know if you can see this, but the seashells are like really shiny because of the glittery fabric paint that I've used. And annoyingly, um, I accidentally did them too far apart. So if I was to redo this, I would probably um, do these shells much closer together. But all in all, for my first attempt, I am really happy with how it's turned out. And I know for like my next attempt, what I need to do to make it better or any sort of adjustments that I need to do. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Toodle do.